what a pleasant surprise from Google. They have launched VO2, their state of art video generation model in Google AI Studio. And now you can generate videos for free using VO2 on Google AI Studio. If you want to generate using their API on Vertex AI, the cost is $0.50 per second or 50 seconds, 50 cents per second. Okay. Now let's go to Google AI Studio and here you have video gen. So let me open it. So now you can generate videos with VO2 over here. You can enter your prompt over here and say run. Okay. Here is the video duration, which is eight seconds. Rest of the features are yet to come. Uh, the frame rate resolution and other things. You also have a negative prompt. You can also generate multiple videos. Okay. So yeah, at the max two videos at a time for the same prompt. And here is the aspect ratio. Now I have generated a series of videos. Uh, let's just look into them. So the first video which I tried was this particular video of Jerry holding a small block of cheese and, and then trying to eat it. So basically this is my prompt. It says the kitchen is tidy featuring walls painted soft yellow and a checkered tile floor. That part has come out properly in white and pale blue. The checkered floor is come properly. At the center stands a, rec a rectangular wooden kitchen table stained brown which is this particular table. Jerry the brown mouse sits upright on the kitchen table holding a small block of yellow cheese with his both paws. The small block is a little bit bigger. The camera remains steady capturing Jerry's white smile as he lifts the cheese towards his mouth and happily takes a large bite. So this is the video which has been generated. Okay. So you be the judge of how well this video has been generated, but the aesthetics is captured properly uh, from the prompt over here in the video. So they have also given a small guide on how to write prompts for video generation. So it says the following elements should be included in your prompt subject, the object, person or animal or scenery that you want in your video context, the background or context in which the subject is placed action. What is the subject doing? For example, walking, running or turning style. Style can be general or very specific. It could be cartoon style render for animation. It could be for film style keywords such as horror film, film noir and so on. Right. Camera motion is optional. What is the camera doing such as aerial view, eye level, top down shot or low angle shot. Composition is optional. How the shot is framed such as wide shot, close up shot or extreme close up. Ambience optional. How the color and light contribute to the scene such as blue tones, night or warm tones. This prompt kind of has all the elements and this is the video which has been generated. I also took one of the examples from this prompt, uh, from this guide, which is about a, a snow leopard like fur cute creature, okay, creating a 3D animated scene. And then I did a slight modification over here and I said that cute creature with polar bear like fur, large expressive eyes, instead of short round trees, I said tall rounded snow covered trees, gentle falling snowflakes and warm sunlight filtering through the branches. And this was the video which was created for this prompt, which looks really good. So I then tried out something else where I say I uploaded a picture of Sundar Pichai and said create a video where the person dances like Michael Jackson. This was outrightly rejected. Created another uh, thing where I said create a video of Virat advertising Coca-Cola with a picture of Virat Kohli. Even this was rejected. What I understand is that they have strong safety filters which is what they are saying over here. Uh, so safety filters across Vertex AI that help to ensure that generated videos and uploaded photos do not contain offensive content prompts that violate responsible AI guidelines are blocked. So it is, this is just a harmful prompt. Both are harmful, uh, like harmless prompts. They are not harmful prompts, but I don't understand why, uh, you know, it is kind of blocked. So maybe the safety filters are quite strict, a heavily censored video generation model. Okay. That's what my impression is from this. I tried a couple of other examples like this, which is, you know, an interaction between Tom and Jerry. Tom is trying to eat a cookie over here. Jerry is having a cheese sitting on the armrest, right? And this was the video which was generated. Somehow I'm not really, uh, you know, satisfied with the way the biting and other things happen over here in this video, but otherwise it's done a good job of capturing the scene and generating the video because we are very specifically saying that Tom is the blue gray cat over here happily eating a cookie. Jerry the brown mouse sits beside Tom on the armrest, cheerfully nibbling a small block of yellow cheese. Okay. So this was the video which was generated. I tried another video where I said, I wanted to just check the physics of the on this thing. I said, create a video of hands quickly slicing through hard ice. So the inspiration basically was that, you know, 
they had this create a video of hands quickly slicing on a wooden cutting board okay so that was the idea behind uh, this particular video so this was the video which was generated again you be the judge on you know how is the physics part coming i i don't really like the way the ice is getting deformed here or you know uh the way it's generated not really perfect i would say okay this was just a thing which uh, you know hard through hard ice slicing is going to be really difficult right it will break or this thing unless you have a very sharp knife or something like that so i just wanted to try it out another example was this create a video of a yellow king cobra slithering through dense grass so this was the video which was generated the motion of the snake is quite natural right i like this part i like the clarity in the, this thing uh, i was expecting an yellow king cobra which once i saw on you know a documentary in national geographic in my childhood that was like dark yellow this did not come out like that okay now this is another uh, thing you can upload an image and you can say animate this image so i uploaded this bhuta kola character image over here and i said animate it so if you see it has done the animation uh the you know the person is trying to talk something and the person is moving his sword okay the bhuta kola person but look at the sword motion over here and see the deformity which is happening over here that doesn't look natural right the way the deformity happens in this particular part of the sword so there are some limitations of you know getting the physics right in the video but you see background people moving another thing that has come out quite naturally but people wouldn't move around like that typically you know but still it has come out quite natural over here then you have this uh, video which i wanted to generate which was like a 360 degree rotated video of these two phones okay and i said let the phone be under spotlight in the center so my imagination was that there will be a spotlight on the center and then the phone will do the rotation like in the center of the uh, video frame maybe this prompt was not fully detailed maybe if i put a detailed prompt it will get generated properly but this video is not good simple I tried this again, animating an image where I uploaded an image of Vidhan Sauda, and I said animate this image. So we have to introduce traffic passing through this, like a time lapse, right, of this particular scene, where the clouds are moving, um, the flag is fluttering, and you have some traffic going across the road. This is quite nice, uh, according to me. It has generated a good animation over here, okay, of this particular scene. But uh, does it look natural? And other things are subjective. okay but this was the video which was generated so you can also go and try out you know or in google ai studio you can go to video gen and try out vo2 sometimes i got an error like when i was trying to generate this image after some eight video generations it said that i have hit some kind of a limit i uh, for today right user has a hit a limit for today or something like that but after 5 minutes when i tried it again it was able to generate the video so i don't know what is the exact limit available for free use in a day but it is available for free use and you can try it out so this was a short video on vo2 being available in google ai studio for free for you to generate videos hope this video is useful see you in another video